Hello everybody, welcome to this iced coffee and confrontation today because it's really hot here in Japan and we've seen temperatures rise up to about 38 plus here so uh, please bear with me with not a hot coffee but a cold coffee this time and we'll have a look at what's been happening uh, in terms of my hobby progress uh, from the last coffee and confrontation that we had and we'll have a look at the miniatures now to see what I've completed and what's coming up and what I got in the mail. All right, so let's have a look at to see what I've acquired since the last one. It's only a very small acquisition, but it's still a very nice acquisition in the form of this uh, GM screen. Now this folds out, it actually came shrink wrap, which is amazing. So it was still brand new. It's in very good condition. Uh, if you're not familiar with this, basically it's a uh, it's like a helpful guide for the GM when they're playing the role-playing Cadwallon game, and it gave you all the charts and tables and everything to quick reference as you play. I've never actually experienced Cadwallon the role-playing game, which is a shame because it's such a beautiful looking uh, system and the books and artwork, the Gary Chalk artwork and everything contained within it just really got me into it because it reminded me of first edition we have a role play, uh, which I really enjoy too, but never, sadly, just never got to play the actual role playing game itself. But had all the books and models and everything, including this, and it all got sold uh, during the you know the uh, the period of time that I was moving to Japan, and all that got sold off in large lots. But I'm really happy to get this one back again. It's a, it's a really nice little addition to my very small but still growing collection. It also came with this map of Cadwellan. Yeah, it contains the whole map of the region and gives a, like the key at the bottom here uh, with all the relevant places and that kind of thing. So yeah, again, it's a nice little addition to the GM screen and who knows, one day I might actually experience playing Cadwellan as a role-playing game in the future. Who knows, the role-playing game book might actually come up in a in a listing at some point in the future, which would be great. I'll definitely want to grab that, just for the artwork of anything. Next, have a look. let's have a look at the models that I have completed since the last time I talked with you. And this is the, the Knight of Hod from the Nemesis expansion for Hybrid. Now, two of these models came up on the, again, the Japanese website here for auction. As a listing and Paul acquired those so thanks again Paul for that and he just said you know would you want to paint them so it sort of matches the models that we have for hybrid already which is fantastic I really enjoyed painting this one I did have my own model and I did, I did paint it back in the day but now it's part of the Mr S's collection in Canada you know probably who he is Mr Salvano and um yeah, so I'm really happy to have painted this again, and I'm looking forward to acquiring my own expansion uh, Nemesis in the future so that I can paint this again, and uh, the um, the Nemesis clone and the mine layer too for the Griffins. Yeah, so it's such a really beautiful looking model. Really enjoyed painting that a lot. And here we have Agar, the brief. I gave it a bit of an alternative color scheme uh, different from what the card art is, but I saw the second incarnation for this guy and look at this really sort of dark rooting character. So I really wanted to give him a matching um, color scheme. So yeah, lots of blacks and dark browns and and uh, yeah, I think it's sort of, I think it's okay. I'm pretty happy with it. It's a pretty heavy, nice, big sort of chunky model. That's another great thing. And I love having these Razorback figures just in terms of the gameplay um, they bring a lot more to the tin of all lists more flexibility and movement and of course that massive charging uh, bonus when they get in they, they're really nasty and his second incarnation for ego looks really cool so i look forward to playing him in, in maybe in a scenario or just in regular gameplay at some point in the future and uh, yeah so you can see him in an upcoming battle report at some point when we get there and as for what's coming up, well, this is the one that's on the painting handle at the moment. And this is Mesorecord, the one of the Griffin characters that we'll use in hybrid as well. And this is part of the two models that Paul picked up um, from the um, Merikari site. So they're great additions for hybrid. And I just need to pick up some more Durs models now to sort of 
balance it out on the scorpion side. I need some Karatis models, some of the uh, Skorizi, if that's how you pronounce it. Um, just some extra things, maybe the Vic of Durs, it's a great, another great model. The Neuromancer is another fantastic uh, model as well. And just to give some more options for the Scorpions, because they they're sort of haven't got many choices uh, currently. So I'll need to go on a hunt and try to find a few, a few more blisters. And finally, we'll have another remote game with Jeremy from End of the World Gaming, as he takes his Tin of War against my Midnor in the Soul of the Titan Act 2. So look forward to that, guys. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for the next Coffee and Confrontation.